Hello Sagittarius, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your weekly reading for December 20th through the 26th for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. General reading, whatever the universe wants you to know. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, please. Celtic Cross Pratt, December 20th through the 26th. Wow, the Queen of Wands. <laughs> they can be very much your energy. Someone here is coming as very attractive, very charismatic, leadership qualities. There's a message or a lesson here. Someone is hoping to hear from you or you two or someone. We will see. Wow, okay. The Seven of Swords is your situation. Being crossed by the Ten of Cups. The Nine of Swords, Chariot, Six of Pentacles, wow, the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Lovers, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. There was another sign that had that as an outcome. Looking at the Seven uh, of uh, Swords and the Ten of Cups, I feel like there's someone that wants to escape or is I'm going to avoid this is too good to be true or I don't know if you're trying to avoid a situation but the what's coming what's challenging is that there's this happily ever after there's a content there's a bliss here I don't know if you are worried about this situation what is that makes you happy you want to go towards a happiness or you know towards this contentment or someone that you feel uh, fulfills that bliss for you but there's something that is not exactly in this situation honest or open the seven of swords here to me is someone that is trying to get especially in this one is trying to get away from something that they have it can be thoughts avoidance here there's something that still is left behind and whatever it is that shortcuts or you need to let go or there's some type of you know i need to avoid this because maybe again someone is not honest here and i'm saying again someone is not because the way you are portraying yourself or the way you are acting is the ace of swords which is completely honesty truth and you know there's no shortcut there's no let me avoid this that's what worries you this truth worries you can you get away fr uh, from this situation? Is someone trying to, you know, withhold information from you? There's a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of worry regarding a step that you want to make, but you feel like maybe I should not tell anybody or maybe I should avoid this. But he's saying there's happiness here. There's something that to go towards this happiness has to come with the truth because that's your attitude. And this is happening because in the recent past, someone wanted a direct approach here. Someone at distance for some of you or someone felt like, you know, it's up to me here to, to kind of make a move or it's up to me here regarding this direction. Now, it may be because you feel like, oh, what if this is one-sided? Because the way also you think uh, it's the best possible outcome for you is the moon in Taurus or six of pentacles here. Something has to, to be balanced. That has to be a give and take. There cannot be an unequal situation here. So you're questioning this whole situation this week. Can I leave behind something? Is someone being honest? And um, is this what truly will make me happy? Now, the Ten of Swords coming here right away tells me that there's the ending of this uh, anxiety or worry or sleepless night, something that has been replaying in your mind constantly. Again, we're talking about some type of honesty here or getting away without being caught situation. We'll see what the Seven of Swords. But the Ten of Swords in this case is like, okay, whatever is going on like i cannot continue in this state of mind something here is coming as painful situation or ending something has to end thoughts painful thoughts because you are going to go for the truth you are not going to go for this situation here with the seven of swords whatever you're dealing with that you feel like you have to leave behind or someone is pretending or sneaking here 
if you're like, no, I, I want the truth. Why you are being influenced by a connection here. And when I say influence, this is external. You may not be seeing this, but someone also is looking at you as their, uh, you know, number one or, you know, this is kind of mirroring each other. Twin flame connection is always a strong pull between between the lovers. But in my experience, when I see the lovers, always I feel like there's something behind the scenes here or there's consequences. Always the lovers are being pulled apart. They want to be together, but there's always something else here that kind of keeps them apart. This is external to you. You have the seven of pentacles. So do I wait? Do I invest? Do I make a wise decision? Or I just kind of try here to do something that I don't feel comfortable with. Avoidance is not going to help as well. If this is, can I avoid this and just go somewhere else? Because it's saying there's uh, the happily ever after situation that is coming in. Someone that really wants this. So the Three of Pentacles is starting here a partnership, an alliance, or working with what you got. It's like a foundation. It can be that you're, you're hoping here, or you're, when it comes to your thoughts, you think, okay, let's share. Let's both, you know, see how we balance. But it's saying, no, this is just the building block here, the beginning of something that needs to be worked. Friendship, alliance, or you right now trying to work with what you have to build something here. We'll see what that is. Okay. But I think you are going to get out of this situation of avoidance. It is, the, the Ten of Swords is never nice, but at least is the ending that you want when it comes to this anxiety, these thoughts. And it has to do with, um, with a deep connection here you have with someone. So we shall see. You want to open up though, you want to share. You're looking for some type of uh, give and take. What is the seven of swords? One more. Okay, so we're talking about the knight of wands here. There's inconsistencies, there's hot and cold, there's running away avoiding but again i feel like someone still or someone is pretending not to have this strong desire towards someone or you feel like someone's intentions here are not clear one moment they're here one moment they're there this may be you but it's um it's like someone here that feels attracted towards a person wants to go towards them but there's something uh, or um, deception or someone here intentions are not very clear like someone is holding back certain things here what is the ten of cups someone is hiding or holding definitely back what is the ten of cups one more That's what's challenging this because there is love here. There's someone that wants to come forward with love. There's admiration. There's successful approach. That's what we're going to challenge the situation of I want to avoid this or there's a shortcut. There's someone here that is coming with a lot of love, happiness, admiration. I don't know if that's you Sagittarius or your person but you might surprise yourself here because all of these cards are very beautiful a new opportunity I want to open up I want to win your heart I want to come here successfully someone here is Nothing compares to you with the Six of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Someone is imagining this beautiful life and this love. What is the Nine of Swords? Okay, so we are talking here about some type of getting together. Uh, I don't know if some of you are feeling... Oh, 
does this person only want me as a friend there's other people included but there's a lot of worry regarding this reconciliation or coming together what is the nine of swords one more yeah someone is at crossroads regarding coming together waiting for some type of sign some type of calling some type of truth to come out you and this person have avoided a situation or you have certain plans that you're not sure here if you can reveal yet but you know that um you want to go towards someone that really satisfies or completes you what is the chariot please one more okay so remember you have the seven of pentacles uh this week that is coming in hoping here or waiting for someone to finally move ahead and i feel like someone has decided to make a move recently taurus cancer so this is happening because again in the past someone was waiting for the other person to make a move waiting for rewards choosing wisely and i feel like not something now is like about to change some of you again maybe were waiting for a person long distance from you all right so what is the six of pentacles that is how you're gonna think things this uh, week ahead one more this moon is driving me crazy too what is this by the way the moon is very important because this is moon in taurus and then we have the moon it is about feelings but is it that something material here needs to be exchanged getting out of the shadows and balancing a situation between the unconscious and the conscience that's how I, I i feel it subconsciously here you want to open up what is this one more you want venus in aries you want a empress here you want someone to reciprocate when it comes to living together to being together you're hoping for some type of reciprocation or some type of balance or some type of give and take. But again, I'm getting secrecy here. I'm getting um, hidden aspects. Someone is not opening, uh, sharing here the desire to, you know, to kind of come together. There's engagement. There's commitment. You both have to be on the same page. What is the Ten of Swords that is coming in, please? One more. Wow. Okay. No shortcuts. The Ten of Swords is that whoever feels here that, oh, I can avoid or I can leave this behind, it, it's going to be painful here. To me, is the ending of this deception. It is the ending of pretending. Is the ending of um, you know not opening up, not telling the truth, putting on a show or bluff here. That's what it is because we started. There's something that is coming in again. I will not lie. The Ten of Swords is not easy, but I feel like it's psychological here mostly than actual because in the end you have the Three of Pentacles. Which okay, let me work here. Let me see what I'm building. Let me see what I'm doing uh maybe assistance here but i'm getting there's the painful endings of someone that is trying to get away from something uh without being truthful to this situation all right so you have the ace of swords when it comes to your behavior here your yourself this is this represents you cutting through that lie one more Yeah, you, you're very clear in the decision here with the two of wands. Your attitude is like, I need, where are your intentions or what decision are you making? You, you want to be clear regarding this person or regarding this situation. What is this about? One more. The Queen of Swords. If that's you, man, nobody can mess with your attitude here. You will be able to spot a lie. You will be able here right away to feel like, you know, words have consequences. 
and that's how I see it. Make make up your mind here, or you can be very decisive what you have to do. Whatever it is that you have avoided, or they someone has avoided, is just there's no way now. It's like someone has decided very well. This is my choice, and I'm not afraid to say it. I stand by my choice. That's how the Queen of Swords is holding the sword very tightly there. So you are going to be very decisive. What is maybe even objective here or detached? But the Two of Wands tells me your intentions are clear. What is the lovers? External here. One more. The devil. Yeah, you see, I knew that there's the lovers are trapped, captive. Someone is obsessed, lustful. Wants to be with you, but they're trapped in a situation. One more. The Emperor, Aries, Taurus. There is someone here that there's a connection with. But again, there's some type of power struggle and control issues regarding someone that feels an intense connection with you. It's like they're going through some type of um, power struggle. Aries, Taurus, I have Gemini, strong Aries, I have again, Gemini, Libra, Capricorn, I have, um, I feel like most of the signs, what is the seven of pentacles, Cancer, one more, you're hoping that in the recent past here, Whatever this direction that is coming with the wish fulfillment is like these are rewards. Because remember the Ten of Cups is coming towards you, it's challenging, is hot and cold, avoidance, in and out, chemistry and uh, you know, whatever it is someone is trying to get away. You're hoping that someone someone will make the right, right choice or again there's going to be rewards. The things that you have been wishing for are coming towards you. So let's see what is the three of pentacles. Guys, <laughs> there's light. You're going to build toward a better perspective. Someone here wants to come towards you as well with friendship and happiness and joy. And I'm getting this that there's nothing, whatever it is for some of you, as I mentioned, avoiding or deception or one-sided or someone here, their intentions are not very much um, to be truthful. He's saying, no, this is someone that, sorry about that, that needs to put a foundation here. And he's looking because this foundation is bringing a lot of happiness. Things are going to work out. It is the beginning, but it is going to lead towards that happiness. And this is the potential of this. Here we have someone that does not work with Mars and Capricorn, by the way. And then we have Moon in Aquarius there. Does not work in a situation of, uh, you know, I'm going to avoid it. It's just someone that builds, sees friendship, sees commitment. It's just the, the building block that will lead to someone's happiness. And that's the best possible outcome out of this situation. What is this about? One more. Yeah, someone here that has uh, been on, a, I feel like, on the pathway of wisdom with the hermit. is Someone that has been in solitude, trying to find their way towards this happiness, the light at the end of the tunnel. That's that's what I'm seeing here in the end. You're going to get out of the situation, whatever someone is avoiding or hiding. But it's because, again, there's something bigger here that is speaking to you. Love, content, bliss, and partnership. I really hope this resonates with you guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.